Welcome back. A South Dakota farm kid made history this year by recreating and restoring the world's largest steam engine. For the Andover native, it was a labor of love that took years to complete. Today we share the story of his journey. In the steam engine hobby, it's, it has a huge legacy. It's like the Titanic of the tractors. I mean, it was the biggest one ever produced, and, and none of them survived. That's the way Corey Anderson describes the world's only Case 150 steam engine that he recreated from just the original boiler. The road locomotive was basically lost in, in history. I mean, all of the nine that were built were eventually scrapped, so it was kind of lost in history until, until we recreated it and brought it back to life current tractor today would be about a third of the torque and power of the 150. It's a project he dreamed about since he was only 10 years old and began to design in 2007. When I acquired the original blueprints from Case, then I had to design everything into a 3D CAD model. And the three-dimensional CAD model basically allows us to, to produce the parts. You can see the whole gear train here. For the next 10 years, Anderson and a team of volunteers worked at Dakota Foundry and Webster to cast the parts for the Case 150, followed by assembly in Wyoming. At the same time, he was building a business to fund the nearly million and a half dollar project. My dream was, was always to build this ever since I was a little boy, and, and so I, I knew that I had to have facilities and, and resources and, and the equipment and, and team to support doing something like that. So I started Anderson Industries in my garage. 8,000 plus hours later, his dream was unveiled at the James Valley Threshing Show in Andover in September. A day he says was surreal. I drove the engine around, we went down the parade route and had a ceremony where we, where we got a picture of everybody who helped. And then we went out to the plowing field and successfully pulled the, the 24 bottom John Deere plow, which was actually two plows hooked together. This is a mountaintop moment, guys. <laughs> he says the response to the restoration of the world's largest steam engine was overwhelming. People came from all over the world to, to come and see the, the 150 case born again. And while Anderson isn't sure if it qualifies for the Guinness Book of World Records, just seeing his dream come to reality is more than enough for him. It's a little bit hard to, to comprehend. I mean, it's something that was a dream for, for so long. And you know, at some points, you feel like you're never gonna see the end. And then realizing that we made it and we achieved the goal and everything turned out great, it's a great feeling. You can see the Case 150 Labor Day weekend at the Steam Threshers reunion in Rolog, Minnesota. It will also be displayed every year at the James Valley Threshing Show in Andover, South Dakota on the weekend after Labor Day.